So over the past few years, a lot of people have been commenting on or just saying in general that Lego Star Wars has been downsizing their sets. They're smaller now. They're doing it uh, because they're trying to keep the prices low because there's a lot of kids that don't have a lot of money trying to buy Lego Star Wars sets, so they make the set smaller so that they can have them at a cheaper price. We're going to take a look at that today. Let's get right into it. So the first uh, comparison we'll look at here is the mini scale Millennium Falcon from 2009 versus the Millennium Falcon, the mini scale one that just came out in 2024. So the 2009 one had 356 pieces, retailed for $39.99 USD, and had a price per piece of 11.2 cents and for the 2024 mini scale millennium falcon had it has 921 pieces for 84.99 usd and 9.2 cents per piece so if you look at this you're like whoa if you consider everything the old set was 39.99 and the new ones for 84.99 so that's like double the price right and then you get uh 356 pieces in the old one and 921 in the new one hey that's triple the triple the pieces about for like double the price wow that's such a good deal but if you look at it the sets are about the same size and if anything the new one is not as long it might have a little more thickness to it but overall the new one really all you're getting extra is like a display stand that's about it and it's generally the same size so you can see triple the pieces isn't really doesn't really result in a bigger set it's more detailed it looks better yes but this is also literally a 15 year gap so let's let's take a look at our next instance here first is the tie fighter from 2001 which has 171 pieces and approximately 11.7 cents per piece for $20 USD. And then you look at the one that came out three years ago, the 2021 kind of chunky looking TIE Fighter. This one has 432 pieces and retails for $44.99. So as you can see, it's a little over double the price of the old one. Does it look like it's double the size? No, it's a downscaled model and it's chunky. It doesn't look as good scale wise. Detail wise, it looks better. Yes. But the problem here is that it's saying that this one is a better deal. 10.4 cents per piece. The other one, 11.7 cents per piece. That's the problem right there. The old one is technically a better value because there's more bigger pieces. And yet price per piece doesn't work because uh, it doesn't account for bigger and smaller pieces. It's all just bundled together. And the final instance here is the ATTE from 2003, which had 658 pieces and it was $70. And that price per piece was apparently 10.6 cents. Now, for the ATTE Walker that came out in 2022. Has 1,082 pieces and retails for $140. This one says it's 12.9 cents per piece. Now, if you look at this, the old one has a less price per piece, right? Which is true because it has kind of, it's a smaller ATTE. You can see it's a it got smaller legs and it's a little, um, it's a little skinnier than the new one. And you can see here that the new one has a lot more pieces than the old one yet it's a higher price per piece and that's the problem it's too inconsistent price per piece is too inconsistent and you know the set that's doubled exactly double the price doesn't have double the pieces that's because it's a bigger set which is going to have bigger pieces so you can't just determine it off of the piece count you can't just be like oh well price per piece price per piece no that doesn't work and look at the minifigures the old one has four the new one has uh, if you count the clones, that's five, and then you count the droids, that's three plus five, that's eight. So you got eight minifigures in the set versus four. It's double the minifigures. So, I mean, it, it, price per piece is just too inconsistent. If you're using price per piece, I'd recommend you go with the eye test. Well, that's about it. This video may have seemed a lot like a rant, but promise, I promise you it was not a rant. It was more so taking a look at a common myth, which is price per piece. And it's not consistent and it doesn't work most of the time. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we are at 4.5 thousand subs at the time of recording this video. Just hit it last night. So thank you guys so much for that. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe and like the video. I would uh, greatly appreciate that. And until next time, this was Bobo Knows Best signing out.